Hello, hello. Today we are going to have some fun with trigonometry. Let's say we have a line segment AB and we say it has a length of 3 centimeters. Then we have another line segment AC that is inclined to AB like this. And this line segment measures 5 centimeters. What can we say about the angle CAB? Well, the angle is made up of just two line segments and we know their measurements. So, can we also find out the measurement of the angle CAB? We can't. That's because angles are always measured in degrees. Because angles are a measure of the rotation of an object along an axis. Does that mean that there is no relation between an angle and the length of the line segments? Well, that's not true. There's a branch of mathematics that expresses angles in terms of the ratio of the lengths of line segments. Specifically, these line segments are the sides of a triangle. Which means that if we join B and C and form a triangle ABC, we will be able to express the angle CAB in terms of the sides AB, BC and AC. And this is what is done by using trigonometry. So, when we study basic trigonometry, we first deal with acute angles. And so, in this chapter, we will study trigonometric ratios of acute angles with the help of a right-angled triangle. We have right-angled triangle ABC, where angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Angle A is given as beta, and we have to find the trigonometric ratios of 90 minus beta. Sounds tricky, doesn't it? Well, it isn't that difficult. Just stay with me on this and we'll solve it one step at a time. So, here we are given angle A as beta. Also, angle B is 90 degrees. Now, by angle sum property of this triangle, we will have angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degrees. That is, beta plus 90 plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Taking beta and 90 to the other side, we get angle C as 90 minus beta. Do you know what that means? It means that when we are finding the trigonometric ratios for the angle 90 minus beta, we basically want the ratios for this angle C. Now, the hypotenuse is AC because that is the side opposite of angle B, which is the 90 degree angle. Also, the side opposite to 90 minus beta, that is the side opposite to angle C, is AB. At the same time, the adjacent side of 90 minus beta is BC. Now that we know the sides, let's find the ratios. We'll have sine 90 minus theta is equal to the opposite side of angle C upon the hypotenuse. And that is equal to AB upon AC. Then we have cos of 90 minus beta as adjacent side of angle C upon the hypotenuse, which is equal to BC upon AC. Now, do you remember how we derived that tan of an angle is equal to the ratio of its sine and cos? So, can we find tan of 90 minus beta using that? Let's see. We'll have tan of 90 minus beta is equal to sine 90 minus beta upon cos 90 minus beta. Substituting the expressions of sine and cos of 90 minus beta, we'll get tan of 90 minus beta is equal to AB upon AC, the whole upon BC upon AC. Cancelling out AC, we will get tan 90 minus beta as AB upon BC. Now, we'll find the expressions for cosec, sec and cot of 90 minus beta. We get cosec 90 minus beta is equal to hypotenuse upon opposite side of the angle, which is equal to AC upon AB. Next, sec 90 minus beta is equal to hypotenuse upon the adjacent side of the angle, and that is AC upon BC. Finally, cot 90 minus beta is equal to adjacent side of angle upon opposite side of the angle, which is equal to BC upon AB. Well, this is where our problem comes to an end. That was interesting, wasn't it? Now, let's look at a numerical related to those trigonometric ratios. Here we have right angle triangle XYZ, where angle Z is equal to 90 degrees. Also, 
We are given the length of xy as 24 centimeters and the length of yz as 8 centimeters. The angle x is theta and we have to find sine theta, cos theta and tan theta. Now, to find these ratios, we need to know all three sides of the triangle where side yz is the side opposite to theta, side xz is the side adjacent to theta while xy is the hypotenuse. We know the lengths of xy and yz but xz is unknown to us. So first we will find out the length of the side xz. Here we know that xyz is a right angle triangle. So we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of xz. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, we will have xy square is equal to yz square plus xz square. Substituting the values of xy and yz, we will get 24 square is equal to 8 square plus xz square. We know that 24 square is 576 and 8 square is 64. So 576 is equal to 64 plus xz square. Taking 64 on the other side, we will have 576 minus 64 is equal to xz square. This will give us 512 is equal to xz square. Now, taking square root on both sides, we will have xz is equal to under root of 512. 512 can be factorized as 256 into 2. So, xz will be equal to under root of 256 into 2. Here, 256 is the square root of 16. So xz will be equal to 16 root 2 centimeters. And now that we know all three sides of xyz, we can find all the trigonometric ratios. Starting with sine, we have the sine ratio of theta as opposite side upon hypotenuse which will be yz by xy. Here we know that yz is 8 units and hypotenuse is xy which is 24 units. Therefore we will get sine theta is equal to 8 upon 24. Cancelling 8 and 24, we will have 1 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator because 24 is 8 into 3 and so sine theta will be equal to 1 by 3. Next, cos theta is given by adjacent side upon hypotenuse which will be 16 root 2 upon 24. On dividing the numerator and denominator by 8, this will reduce to 2 root 2 upon 3. Therefore, cos theta is equal to 2 root 2 upon 3. Then we know that tan theta is defined as opposite upon adjacent side and that will be equal to yz upon xz. Substituting the lengths of these sides, we will get tan theta as 8 upon 16 root 2. On dividing the numerator and denominator by 8, the expression is reduced to 1 upon 2 root 2. So tan theta is equal to 1 upon 2 root 2. So, if we are given the sides of a triangle, we can easily compute the trigonometric ratios for its angles, right? But what if we are given only one trigonometric ratio for an angle and we have to find the other ratios using it? Tutormate. For more amazing videos, download the free app on Apple App Store and Google Play Store.